Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Now this was certainly something that I did not see coming, especially when considering the fact that not only am I surprised to see what Goku Black had went and achieved, but I'm more so horrified by the idea of what this deadly new power of his is truly made of. Because if our heroes don't hurry and try to find a way to put an end to him right now, then with whatever this new form is that I'm sensing that's coming from this fallen Kaioshin, will it only serve as a painful reminder of how hopeless our heroes truly are to make a difference in this battle? Our story now continues following the initial battle involving Super Saiyan 3 Rose Black having to battle against our heroes on Earth following his initial Dark Army being sent back to their own respective timelines courtesy of an alternate Zamasu. As with Super Saiyan Rose 3 Goku Black being shown having to continue his battle against full-powered Super Saiyan Broly was when Goku Black then went on to chime in. Well, I will admit that your power is far more impressive for it being something that a primitive beast like yourself which cannot manage to find a way to control. But if you honestly think that you will be getting the better of me solely off of your raw anger and power alone, then you are mistaken, for you Saiyans are without a chance if you believe that your power despite its massive size would be large enough to beat me, for you should have already known that this would happen upon choosing to battle against a god such as myself, Black went on to then knee Broly in the stomach, but perhaps I was wrong to have not searched for another Zamasu who had taken your body in another timeline, for you would have made for the perfect vessel for my counterpart to go and use against humanity, but perhaps once I am done slaughtering you all, will I only then go and check. Now kneel before your one true god and accept your fate because you will only go so far against me here while you, but then, it was only just upon with Goku Black being shown having to punch Broly away upon them being shown looking on down and noticing Beast Gohan and Piccolo making their way towards Black was when Beast Gohan then went on to shout, hang on Broly, we're coming and so you aren't going to do this alone, with Black having to then chime back in. Those worms again, but surely they weren't able to raid all of the other Zamasus within such a short amount of time like this, have they? But it was only just before Black could even go as far as to realize it, with Broly being shown grabbing onto Black's neck, was when Goku Black then went on to respond. Guys, it's why, why you are to let go of me, you beast! But Broly was not having it, because upon Broly then being shown having to headbutt Goku Black with the others making their way in was when Goku then went on to shout, this is it you guys while Broly is able to get the better of him within the moment, we've got to go and make our way in and attack him right now, and so now is the best time for us to go and take him down while we can, and so out of the way now Broly, everyone remember to stay on him no matter what because we can't have him go and try to escape and leave here either, in which upon that very moment with Ultra Instant Goku then shown having to punch Black in the face before sending him back down was when Goku then went on to continue you. Nice try, Black, but if you thought that by bringing an army here to try and stop us was going to work, well then you can go and guess again, and so now hurry, you guys! He's making his way down towards you both right now! Right, and so we've got him locked within our sights, Beast Gohan went on to then respond. Now let's go and bring the pain right back to him, Piccolo. Damn them! How could this be happening? 
happening to me? Black then went on to question. This wasn't how things were supposed to go upon coming here. But as both Gohan and Piccolo were then shown having to punch Goku Black in the stomach upon Black being sent up flying towards Vegeta was when Piccolo then went on to respond. You should have remained dead instead of choosing to go through with this kind of pain against us like this again. And so he's all yours, Vegeta. And to think that you could go and challenge me again as you are and think that you could have won, Vegeta says, only goes to further prove that you have learned absolutely nothing since the last time you've experienced this. But allow me to go and remind you of that very pain that I went and put you through before, you disgusting excuse for a Kaioshin. In which as soon as Vegeta was shown having to double axe handle Goku Black across the back of the head and causing Goku Black to hit the floor below was when Vegeta then went on to continue, for you were shown having to lose once before and you will once again be shown having to lose again here today, Kai. That's right, Goku then went on to chime in, and if you truly know what's good for you, then you should just go and give up now because you aren't going to win here and you know it, Black. To which even then, despite with Goku Black now shown having to struggle and standing back up upon being shown getting dropped back down was when Zamasu went as far as to approach Goku Black but then responding, just take a look at what you've become. The irony of your existence is as fascinating as it is troubling to watch because it's tragic in a way, for it's tragic to watch you descend into madness and hypocrisy only for it to open my eyes in seeing the truth behind the very lies that you were telling this entire time. But you don't truly care about any of that, right? No, you don't. And in your quest for ultimate power and control, Zamasu continues, you have grown to become the very thing that you grew to despise, a hypocrite of the highest possible order, and deep down, you are desperate. For you have become the very monster which you have grown to hate, yet your ambitions to still want to continue with your plans, despite failing the first time you've attempted them, goes to show on how desperate you truly are to see it through. And in your merciless slaughter of Gowasu from my timeline, along with the imprisonment of the Gowasu from yours, Zamasu continues, you went and revealed yourself to be the very epitome of the same corruption that you sought out to eradicate from the cosmos. As your hatred has blinded you to the realization of what you had become, and I will not stand and allow for you to continue to use me as your pawn in this sick and twisted game that you've created. And by declaring this, I acknowledge my role in your creation within the cosmos that now unfolds, and even though my hands are not clean, Zamasu adds, I will do what must be done to correct this egregious mistake, for your downfall will be a testament to my resolve in correcting the atrocities that you yourself have caused, and that, my dear Zamasu, I will guarantee. And although I never would have imagined for things to turn out the way they did, you are not what I would have aspired to become. You, a Kaioshin with status, who chooses to use a mortal's body and the mortal's power to go and try to destroy all mortals within the multiverse, are an abomination. And without the aid of your dark army to stand at your side to see that you win, you are now left to fend for yourself all alone with no one to blame but yourself for what is about to happen to you, Kaioshin, with Black then having to shout, You! You! How dare you go and turn your back on me after I went and offered you a chance at salvation, you treacherous little worm! And just who exactly are you to deny me of my destiny, you repugnant fool? And if I would have known that you would have turned against me like this and stabbed me in the back, then I would have ended your life the moment I ended your masters when I came to you, with Zamasu responding, well it's a real shame isn't it, but if one of us is destined to perish here in battle between us, then let this be how your story finally ends and by having this come by none other than your very own hands Black, but then, it was only just before Zamasu was able to cut Goku Black down, with Goku Black then shown grabbing onto Zamasu's saber, was when Black then went on to respond, Actually, on second thought, I have a far better idea, you traitorous little worm. Because maybe you haven't figured it out by now, but I'm not the one who will be the first to fall between us. In fact, I believe that you appear to be overlooking one very important detail here, Zamasu. And that is those who live by the sword will ultimately die by the that very same sword. As 
you, fellow Zamasu, have actually lived long enough. And so before you are destroyed, understand that you never stood a chance here against me, and you never will. To which, shockingly enough, from out of nowhere, as Goku Black was then shown having to unleash a gigantic energy blast, which further went on to overtake Zamasu whole, as with the others then having to oversee this was when Goku then went on to chime in. Vegeta, this is really bad. He's even going after his own by slaughtering himself if it means getting what he wants in the end. I can't believe it, Vegeta responds. He's going to destroy himself in order to go and destroy us in the process. No, oh, he won't make it, Beast Gohan then went on to quickly shout. So we've got to go and do something now before it's too late or else we're going to lose him, you guys. No, Piccolo then went on to quickly chime in, for it would be foolish to go and try and save him because from what it looks like down there, there is nothing that we could do to save him because it's already too late and so as sad as it is, we'll need to remain where we are at the moment and wait and see on what his next move will be. To which moments later with the dust and debris now beginning to settle all around Goku Black with Goku Black now being shown standing tall was when Black then went on to continue, Good riddance, you treacherous little meddling rodents, and to think that I would be so kind as to trust you. Well, never again, but now that he's out of my way, allow me to fill you all in on a little secret, mortals. You see, what you are all seeing now is my semi-final form, a prelude level of power which is a placement holder for something much, much stronger, as the fall of Universe 10's God of Destruction was but the first step in my grand design, a design where I, as its architect, have discovered secrets hidden from even the most divine beings, Black continues. And once I complete the final ritual needed in order to officially be given the title of Universe 10's new God of Destruction, I will then become that much closer in realizing my destiny, while you fools are all destroyed in the process of it happening. But just because I am not an official destroyer by title, does it not mean that I too don't share the ability to wield the power of a destroyer myself for I had made a discovery. As this groundbreaking discovery of mine transcends the mere act of destruction itself, for I have found of ways to harness the residual energies of my absolute potential in further channeling my innate strength into a form that goes far beyond this one. And since your understanding of power is elementary at best, allow me to explain. You see, after using the time rings given to me in order to peer into the annals of history, I not only had used those time rings to look into and study your powers, but I also went as far as to find a way on how to combine them. And while I struggled to tap into and figure out the ways of entering into and mastering the power of Ultra Instinct, I instead went and took interest in two other sources of power who had given me just what I needed in order to go beyond the domain of the gods. Vegeta and Gohan, Black continues. And while carefully observing Vegeta's usage of his destroyer power which was embedded with both anger and divine might, I then began to take notice and observe Gohan's beast form after. Which I only then later noticed was forged through his raw, untapped potential that was fueled by his rage as a half-breed that had later inspired a convergence of cataclysmic proportions within myself the very moment that I had went and seen this. For when I faced you all before, I had overlooked the fact of using anger as a way to grow like how you were all shown using, which was why my growth was cut short before I could go and exercise this approach, Black says, prior to fusing with my future counterpart, Zamasu. And while my potential is vast and my adaptability being boundless, Gohan over there has proven throughout history that potential is everything in a fight. And now I intend on maximizing mine. And while you may have stalemated me through your combined efforts in unifying yourselves as one here against me, there is nothing that will prepare you for the nightmare that you are all about to experience, as I made sure to prepare myself very thoroughly this time around, for you are all doomed and there will be nothing that either of you can do that will change that.
thoughts. And if you truly believe that you are able to understand the concept of what it means to maximize and evolve divine powers greater than that of a god, then you fools are already dead and you don't even realize it yet. And so you should all feel honored to be within my presence in witnessing what is about to happen here, because Universe 10's angel along with that pathetic Kaioshin Gowasu were the only ones who were able to see it when they did. Only this time, as our battle reaches its final moments, Black continues, it will be you who will fall one by one until I make sure that there are none of you left that remain. And if you thought that I was difficult to handle in battle as I currently am, then just imagine on how big of a problem I am going to be once I go and reveal my true power. For the scales are now tipped in my favor here against you, Worms Black adds, and it's only going to be a matter of time before each and every single one of you crumble. For no longer will I stand to have you mortals come in between my plans, nor will I allow myself to ever fall like how I have fallen to you before again. Now watch as I reveal to you a power which you have never seen before and never will. For I am Zamasu and I am without an equal, Black continues. To which within that very moment as Goku Black was now beginning to transcend himself and evolving into showing everyone his final form was when Goku then went on to chime in. Whoa, Vegeta, are you sensing that too? His desire for wanting revenge for what had happened to him before has caused him to completely lose his mind in the process. Oh, and whatever kind of power he's about to go and introduce is certainly going to be a power that we simply can't underestimate or look down upon either, Kakarot, Vegeta says. Piccolo, are you seeing this? Gohan then went on to ask. Look, he's starting to change, but how was he able to pull something like this off without destroying himself in the process? His power, it's unreal. Oh, I knew that he more than likely was hiding something far stronger the moment we started fighting before you all arrived. And it looks like I was right, Gohan continues. And to make matters worse is he went and used my methods of harnessing my potential on the surface to go and do it too. Oh, and so now what do we do? With Piccolo then having to respond, well, I don't like this one bit, and so if we don't hurry and find a way to go and take him down now, then he'll simply just go and continue to adapt himself and grow even stronger while the rest of us struggle to keep up, and so we can't go and take any chances against him here either. Oh, and to think that this bastard would come back only to later eclipse us all in power like this is deafening, Gohan adds. Especially as of right now, but look, I think he's finished, and what a terrifying power. In which moments later, lo and behold, with Goku Black now finally having to unveil the fruits of his training and having to demonstrate and showcase his newly found transformation, was when Goku Black had then gone as far as to stand tall by then addressing everyone one in responding, and now behold, mortals, for I now stand before you all, reborn, but not merely as your adversary in this war that we continue to wage, but as a deity beyond your feeble understanding, for I now stand as the alpha among you, as I hereby want to introduce myself to you all as Makayoshin Goku Black. And while I stand here before you all at the pinnacle of my supreme power, Black adds, I am no longer second to any of you in stature, as no amount of singular prowess or combined might will be able to stop me now. And as I wait here ready to destroy you, I want you all to mark my words that each of your roles in this life will be remembered as being nothing more than footnotes in my grand design by the time this is over. What, what the heck is that? Vegeta then went on to further question. I've never seen such a form like this before, and what's even worse is that his power appears boundless too. Oh, well, this isn't good, Goku then went on to respond, because just when we thought that things were over here between us, it only now looks as though they are just getting started, with Black having to then continue. Just look at this, would you? I am unbeatable, and now that I am at the pinnacle of my power with 
no rival in sight, I am going to take my sweet time in making you all suffer nice and slow. For you are all without a hope in the world of defeating me now with Gohan questioning unbelievable. And so now what do we do with Piccolo responding incredible? Well, we've got to go and hold our ground here against him is what we're going to have to do. And so get ready because this looks as though it's going to be the real deal here, Gohan, with Black having to then chime back in. Oh, and I can promise you that it will because not only am I going to enjoy this in more ways than one, but I am going to make sure that you all pay for everything it was that you did to me, mortals. As it was only right then and there now during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Goku Black's resurrection manga chapter number 17 special then comes to a close. Actually, I'll go and take it from here as I do want to go as far as to address something with all of our dear viewers at the moment. As before I go and give you the following information, if you aren't already a member of Unreal's Patreon community, then you are truly missing out on so much without you even knowing. As not only is the next episode already on the page, but if you want to support all of the content that you see and gain access to tons of exclusives along the way, then we do encourage for you all to become a members of our Patreon community today, for we will link it all down in the description box below and pinned comment section. Now I will go as far as to say that even though I am quite shocked to see the lengths that Goku Black had went to in order to achieve such a dangerous and unstable power, it's only fitting for him to refer to his form as something that is only reflective to that of the once sinister Makayo Shin, who once reigned over the cosmos before they were sealed away. And even though our heroes do appear as though they will most certainly have their hands full in this upcoming battle, you do not want to miss out on what is about to happen coming up next. So we hope that you all enjoyed today's video as before you leave. Do make sure to give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button on your way out, as well as subscribing to Unreal Int Gaming's channel in case you are new around here. We thank you all for watching and hope you all have a wonderful day everyone as we'll see you all in the next one. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unreal Ent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>